Let me tell you how it was. A cat, see? Not any cat. A particular cat. But a cat not very particular about how he maintained his lifestyle. In a town, a particular town, where the people were kind of particular about the dollar bills they took. Now this cat, this particular cat, was named Claude. Claude was the best courier the funny money guys had seen in years. The reason was, no one had told him what was in the boxes. The fact that Claude didn't ask was what made him a good courier. In six months, Claude, he'd carried away 96 boxes containing four different stacks of smudge currencies amounting to $80,000 a box at a flat rate fee of a dollar a box. What do I need with courier work? This is the kind of work I should be delegating. Hey, Catface, get those flat feet off of my cab, huh? Check a vet buster. A white dragon can walk, that's what I say. Wait, 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 wouldn't be a cat in this town. So, that's where they left the garbage. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, can you smell that? I can smell that. You like that smell? I don't like that smell. Kind of dog flavor. Come on, come on, come on, where'd it go? Come on, little package, to your Uncle Claude. Come on, where are you? Can you, can you? Oh, hmm, ah, dollar bills, phone bills, or dollar bills. Hey, who's gonna miss these, me thinks? And that's how it all started. In a back alley on the wrong side of town, a cat called Claude and a stack of counterfeit currency borrowed from the crocodilo mob. Tell the boss, you're gonna tell the boss, you're gonna say where the money went, yeah. You're gonna die, you're gonna be dead, the boss ain't gonna be, please, still we know who did it, we know who did it. Oh God, here we go. Mm. It was the cat that took the dough. This cat, yeah. See, I'll, uh, oh, hey, I'll, uh, I'll ex the pussy, right? Bring the head, you want the head, I'll get you the head. And the money, hey, cost some money. Get some posters up, offer a reward, mondo reward, huh? Yeah, what's a cat without a catapult? <laughs> that oh, catapult. Oh, the guy just can't say no if an he's got the dough. It's purely defensive, you want to stand. Hmm. Weird smelling cat. Hey, big face, make with a megapult. Do you have the collateral for that? Check this. Now, is that cash or am I a schnauzer? Yeah. Hmm, nice gun. They're all nice guns. But this is the nicest. That little black hole spells justice. I'll take it, whatever it costs. Nice choice, sir. Your family will thank you. I'll get you your change, sir. Let's see here. Let's break that for you. Thank you. Your very cold hands. Hmm. Cha-ching! Let's see, five and five is five, is ten, there you go, uh, there you go, Hey, buddy. Big Face, don't know how to break it to you, but, uh, these bills are phony. Huh? Don't hit me, don't hit me, it was him, it was him, it was Brock the Cat! You, stop, now! Yeah, like, you're not gonna be, why, whatever I did, I didn't, I'm innocent! Phony bills. Friends of yours? Hey, they're not with me! I'll just hang here, okay? You've been on the force 20 years. I don't care what kind of vendetta you're having out there in the street, but I'm getting calls from the mayor about the kind of violence you drag around with you, and I'm telling you now, you crack this kind of thing and don't go getting on people's nerves and then killing them because the city services can't cope even when you're having a good day. And get that cat out of here!
But hey, uh, you're a boss, right? I got a nose for these things. Shut up, you're coming with me. What? I'm deputized? Gee, does, does that mean I'm a detective? Sure, if you can find time on top of being a disgrace to your species. But I pay top dollar for these shoes. Train the catch? Sure, I'm sure.
Let's pretend you know something I need to know. Like where you were taking that box of phony notes. Let's pretend I got amnesia. Maybe I should kill you. <laughs> the walrus of the park, he's probably still waiting!
There he is, Tuscan McLean. Like I'm gonna have to get myself some new penguins. Cool it, Flatfoot. Let me handle this. Tell me, but a little lubrication did the trick. We should go check the chemical plant. If you keep on spending evidence, there won't be enough left to convince you. Exactly! Yeah. <laughs> 
This is terrible, terrible. All the dials are going crazy. Do you know how delicate this equipment is? It could blow at any moment. Ooh. Stop right there, Wormy. I got a few questions for you. I, I'm a scientist. I was following orders. That's what scientists do, follow orders. You should understand that. You're a cop. Now on, you're following my orders. Just tell me where the boss is. But it's gonna blow. Kablooey, the boss. You wanna know where the boss is? Try where they're building the new mall. All my work ruined. Ah.